Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new Season 5 Battle Pass that just came out with Modern Warfare. It's currently 2.10 in the morning, so obviously my voice might sound a little weird. And I do want to say, right now the update is very, very buggy. So hopefully we can get through this entire Battle Pass here and not have any issues. I seem to have lost all my COD points with this update and the store has not updated yet, so hopefully this stuff is fixed very soon. I didn't want to risk resetting Call of Duty because it did take me 10 minutes to get on. So we're gonna start with this. Usually these videos are a lot longer, so I suggest you grab yourself a drink, maybe a little snack, sit back, relax while we go over literally the entire battle pass. I'll try to be a little bit quicker with items that don't really matter, matter as much, such as like XP boost and stuff, but these typically are a bit longer of videos, so I'm warning you now, you might be in for a 20 or 30 minute video if there's a lot of good content. So guys, we're gonna be starting with the brand new operator. His name, or I guess these are just the missions it looks like. Let's see if we can preview them. So it's only showing one, but uh, Behemoth. This is an actual person for some sort of company or some sort of mili military related thing. I didn't do the research on it, so I do apologize for not having my knowledge, but here is uh, some more info on the battle pass. We'll look at this one first. Now, typically, I would buy the Battle Pass right away, but since I did lose my comp points, and there's a lot of issues right now with the game, I have not bought it for that reason. I don't want to, you know, lose any more comp points or have any issues. I'll let it get all worked out, focus on it tomorrow once we start taking a look at other stuff. So it just seems to be missions here for um, the operator starting out. And then we have Archangel. And then we have some... Um, Horns. I don't play horns here on the channel. I do shop videos and stuff like that, just in case any copyright issues. But um, you know, usually there's not. But I like to have precautionary measures, so you have to check those out for yourself. We have the 10% XP reward this last year entire season. So if you purchase the battle pass, you'll get 10% more XP. Helps you level up just a little bit faster, and you can start working on some of those officer challenges a little bit faster. So starting with number one, Cover of Night and SA87. Let's check it out. Compensator, Commando Foregrip, and Rubberized Grip Tape. That's not bad. If you don't like this weapon at all, if you haven't used it, this isn't a bad start for it. If you're, you know, level one with it, this is definitely not a bad start, and it's free. Number two is just a calling card. Got weapon XP, one hour. You can use that for your brand new weapons. You'll be getting a tier 15 to 30, presumably, if they're still the same. We have the call. We got a knife here, Old Sins. Looks pretty cool. I don't think I have too many knives in this game. I have a couple. 100 cob points for free. Regular XP for you. One hour. Black Adder. Looks like a scar. It is. Monolithic Suppressor, Merc Forger, Rubberized Grip Tape, and a PBX. Not bad. It's all blacked out. Also looks great. I like this one. Definitely gets the pass from me. Moving on. We got a blacked out jeep skin. Love this. It looks like it might even have a metallic tint. You can't really preview these, so this is the best we got. But this one, I like it a lot. Safeguard for Otter. We have Point of Attack. Sticker action. I think uh, I forgot to preview the one skin, so I apologize. We'll move back to the skin real quick give that a little preview and we will move right along where we left off right around this area somewhere you got cob points then you got double weapon xp once again and then we have hoax then we have the first new weapon the iso which is going to be a submachine gun unfortunately not seeing the an94 at the tier 15 slot um i like this black shadow around the uh weapon I'm assuming that has something to do with the new operator or the new uh, faction. I can't remember what they're called at the moment, but um, I would assume that's why. So we're looking like probably a 20 or 25 round magazine there. I mean, not very big, very, very compact. I'm wondering, um, yeah, it says fast rate of fire there. So it's probably going to be similar to like the Scorpion from Black Ops 2. It's just the first thing that came to my mind. Honestly, they just released the Vector, so I'm kind of surprised by this move. You know, another fast fire rate SMG right off the rip that quick. Kind of, you know, I, I would have liked to see something a little bit different, but, you know, it, it is what it is. So we have uh, 
This lightweight and reliable firearm is designed to control the close range battlefield. So shoot house players, this might be good for you. We'll see how it turns out. Typically, all DLC weapons are really good off the rip. Not like in the iron sights, I can tell that right away. But moving on, bad company. There is the new little preview for the Mara bundle that's coming out. 100 cow points. This looks like a Renetti, maybe? Yes. Monolithic suppressor, one milliwatt laser in the GI Mini. This looks great. Looks like a stealth operator M9 pistol looks amazing. I love it. Huge fan of the Beretta M9 and the Renetti basically being the M9. Love to see that. Shadow Company, that is the that is the new faction. So we have some stuff here. Just looks like regular missions. You can't really go through these. This is all they show you when you click on the preview. So um, there's a couple of them in there. Then we have Nevermore, which is the Raven, which is basically just a thing towards Raven Studios for the next Call of Duty game. We might see a leak on that today, or not a leak, an official announcement possibly today. It was leaked for today, but um, it says in that little teaser image that they have that it's probably going to be in the mid-season update. So we might have to wait a month, but this is basically just for Raven Studio working on the next Call of Duty. Nice to see uh, the studio is kind of working together a little bit. We have a HDR, it looks, this is free. Monolithic suppressor, tack laser, got a Cronin optic on there, probably taking that off. Bipod and focus, not terrible. Looks pretty interesting, that's for sure. No barrel attachment on there, so you can definitely throw something else on there to give yourself a little more range. 45 minutes of double XP, 100 cop point. Then we have the crowbow. Another little raven thing there. That's cool. 30 minutes of weapon XP. Then we have Siege Tower with the all blacked out vehicle again. Love it. Ooh. Okay, this is for the 725. There's some decent 725 blueprints in this game. You know, it's a really annoying gun. We all hate it. But at the end of the day, there's some really dope skins for it. Monolithic Suppressor, 1 milliwatt laser, and GI Mini Reflex. That's cool. Looks cool. Good stuff. Then we have a spray there. 15 minutes of double weapon XP right here. This is just basically a filler. This is just crap they're going to put in here to fill out the battle pass and make it look appealing to fit the 100 tiers. They always do this. Uh, we have links. This looks cool. I like this. That's pretty cool. Now we have the AN94. Now, in the little preview, in the trailer, I thought it kind of looked crappy. So let's see how it work looks here. Uh... Cosmetically, I'm not a huge fan of how it looks, but we got a lot of stuff here uh, in the description. It looks like it's going to operate in a very interesting way. I kind of just took a little peek at it here. You see that little white dot that was in the background there? I, I don't know if that's like, you know, if that means something. I have no idea, but I've never seen that before in a weapon preview. All right, so let's read it. We have 5.45 by 39, which is the regular 5.45 ammunition for these AKs. Uh, we got the cutting edge Russian assault rifle with a unique hyper burst feature. Okay, the initial shot from each trigger pull fires a rapid two round burst before the recoil is felt, giving you a very tightly grouped cluster with increased damage potential. There's that little white thing glittering in the background again. I don't know if you guys saw it. And then the mechanism is fed by a Canton magazine and a reciprocating receiver that helps control the recoil. Okay, so I'm not sure if it was in Black Ops 2, something similar was this. I know we've had a weapon in Call of Duty that this, there was something very, very similar to this that happened um, where the first two shots were a lot like quicker. I'm not sure. I feel like it was a submachine gun. I can't remember though. But we have seen this before in a Call of Duty and uh, this might be really good. Now it's not 7.62. So it might be just a little, you know, kind of, it's, it's close to the same ammunition as M4. It's not um, 5.56, but it's very, very close. So probably going to see a closer damage towards like M4 damage than, uh, you know, Galil. Like the CR-56 AMAX is going to do way more damage in this thing. But that initial two shots, yeah, it might be, that might be enough to get yourself a really easy kill on weapons like the Galil, the FAL, you know, those higher calibers that are going to take you out quick. 100 cow points. Death Note. This is an interesting looking watch. Once again, guys, apologies for the voice, man. You know, it's 2 a.m. trying to keep my voice down, and I'm a little tired. So I do apologize for that again. You know, usually here on the channel, we're high energy, but like I said, a little bit later.
So hopefully you guys understand. We got the Shadow Company stuff here. So I'm wondering if Rose, the new operator, Mara, and whoever this is on the left, they're all a part of Shadow Company. That would be pretty cool. So we got the Holger. Muzzle break, attack laser, operator four grip, and rubberized grip tape. Not terrible. Magazine looking pretty interesting. Nice little design there on that. That's cool. It's not bad. Iron sights look a little questionable though. 45 of a double weapon XP. And then we have a very, very similar emblem to the one earlier. Master's bidding. We have an AUG here and a gallows. Compensator, Commando, and 32 round magazine. I, I feel like we've seen this somewhere. Is this an old skin? I doubt it, right? Let me know in the comments. Is this an old skin? I feel like the Gallows is one I've heard for the AUG. I'm not, maybe I just saw it like leaked on COD Track or something. I just really feel like we've seen that one before. Match lock, another black vehicle skin. Cool stuff. More Milsim stuff. I know a lot of you guys were hoping that there'd be more Milsim characters, so... This one's going to be good for some of you who really like running your Milsim stuff. Hunter Cow Points again. Old Fuss and Feathers for the 1911. Oh, I lied. This is for the Deagle. We got Muzzle Break, 13 round magazine, and rubberized grip tape and sleight of hand. A little bit closer quarters. Um, Desert Eagle action going on. I don't know why I thought that was a 1911. I am tired, man. One hour of double weapon XP. Skull Brigade. Cool looking sticker. Then we have what looks to be another kilo. You guys know what I say about the kilo, man. Too many. Too many of them. Close quarter stock, commando foregrip, and compensator. Interesting skin. Ooh. Actually, I like that. It's not a sundial, is it? I don't know what it is. Too early. Or too late, depending on how you want to look at it. But the skin's pretty interesting. The kilo, you know, the kilo has a lot of blueprints, so at some point they're going to have some good ones. But that one's pretty cool. 15 minutes of weapon XP. We got Sham. Can't even really tell what that is, to be honest with you. 100 more cow points. Then we have another Mara calling card. Man, they're really going to milk this cat thing that they're doing with her. I have no idea what's up with that. We have uh, Honcho. Oh my god. <laughs> this is an interesting skin for sure. We have Iridescent for the MG34, maybe? I can't remember. I don't use this gun, man. Ooh, okay. Aw, oh, man, there's there's just not enough of it. It's an interesting little little skin design they got going on, but there's not enough of it on the weapon. I, the whole thing was like, this would be a lot cooler. Muzzle break, GI mini, commando foregrip, rubberized grip tape, and sleight of hand. Great class for it. Don't get me wrong. Very slow ADS, but if you're pre-aiming, this class will be great. It will work wonders for you. 50 round magazine with sleight of hand is going to be, you know, much needed. But um, this is good. This is a really good class for this. This one's not bad. We have Warlock. 15 minutes of double XP. Hotspot. Spotter scope. That's pretty cool. Then we have Black Tea Affair. Ooh, ooh. Oh, dude, that. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this. Look at what I'm seeing in this preview picture. They did this last battle pass with a pistol blueprint. It looked amazing. It was like a suppressed pistol M19, and it looked great. And then you check it out in-game, and it looks terrible. I mean, look how nice this blue tint, almost like a chrome. Um, I can't I can't think of the word. But um, it looks really, really dope. And then, and then you give me this. Come on, man. Sniper scope for our FTAC comb. And then you got these double grip tape. So two ADS with the sniper scope. I mean, good starting, car 98, but super super missed opportunity i mean this little blue tint there looks amazing and uh just not the case 100 cow points one hour of double weapon xp drop anchor sorry that i got the fal up it doesn't look as great on the fal but it's what we're working with cult classic for the ax50 Ooh, shiny there oh this thing's gonna reflect sunlight real nice oh my god I love it. That's awesome. That's actually really cool. Hopefully, it, it reflects like that in-game. Tack laser. Cronin again. I don't know what they're trying to trying to get us into with these Cronin sites. We're, everybody's taking them off, let's be honest. Stipple grip tape and focus. Not bad. I'm liking this one. I really like that. We got a wide skin. I like this one. This one's cool. 
What are we at in the recording? 15 minutes? Yeah, I kind of figured we'd be running a bit long. Four wins. Ooh, compass. Okay. If only the little red dots appeared on your map or on the watch. That's cool, though. I like to see a compass watch added in, and it's free for everybody, so that's cool. Oh, hi. <laughs> 30 minutes of uh, regular XP. Lens flare. Got rose there. Cool. Ooh. Melt water. All right. M19. I'm trying to just focus on the design real quick. It, it's a really interesting white. It's not even like an off-white. It's kind of like a, a cookies and cream design minus the black. It's just like a little blue kind of. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Got the XRK extended on there. Attack laser, Cronin, heavy duty trigger, and 32 round magazine. Take that trigger off, put lightweight trigger on, and um, you're good to go. Not bad. 100 cal points. Weakest link. 30 minutes of weapon XP. Falling with style. Dropping into the war zone. Can't really get a better angle on it. There we go. That works. We have a chill pill. Skin for Sid. Dude, Sid has some really good skins. Skid's got really... Sid has really good skins. I like her skins in this game. We have Black Cat. Ooh, they added a uh, AK-74U variant. That's cool. So we have the compact barrel. The 545-39 ammunition. Now, I believe that's going to be the same ammunition that's coming out of the AN-94. So this can kind of give you a rough estimate of what you're working with. If you haven't unlocked the AN-94, you're not going to buy it in the tiers. It's going to take you a couple days to get it. So uh, this will give you a good little start on what you're looking at damage-wise. I have a class on this SMG variant. Uh, you can search it here on the channel. If I remember, I'll link it up in the top right. Odds are I'm going to be busy creating other content for Season 5, so I probably won't remember, but it is on the channel if you want to look for it. But... Uh, this ammunition is pretty darn good, I will say. It's pretty good. The class here, Sleight of Hand, uh, Skeleton Stock, GI Mini, Compact Barrel, and the ammunition is not a bad one at all. But I'd probably put like a Merc Foregrip on here. And um, I don't know. You don't really need Sleight of Hand, in my opinion. That's just me. But uh, some people like it. So this is not a bad class whatsoever, and it looks good. Serpents. One hour of regular XP, 100 count points. Night Ranger. Looks good. We have the catacombs for um, the holder. Ooh, hey, that skin looks sick. It's on the Merc Forger as well. Ooh, I like this. This is this is this is a really really decent close quarters holder class. I mean, you got the Merc Forger with the five milliwatt. So if you need to hip fire, if you're playing hardcore, this thing's gonna be insane. Spitfire barrel. No stock for insane mobility. You got the Merc Forgrip with an extra 3 to 4% of movement speed additional on it. And a 30 round magazine giving you more ADS. Better movement speed, quicker reload. This thing's going to be nasty in my opinion. Uh, on paper, absolutely insane blueprint. Can't wait to get this one. Definitely going to give it a try. Uh, probably when I unlock it, I'll do a weapon review on it for sure. We have another free one here. Eyes on target. 45 minutes of weapon XP. Force of Nature. We have a Talon skin. Jackdaw. I don't really think the colors fit that well together, but some people will definitely like it, that's for sure. Then we have a Graw. Muzzle Break, Commando Foregrip, 1 milliwatt laser, Cronin, and Frangible Wounding. We've seen this skin a couple times in the game. Personally, not a huge fan, but I know a lot of people do like it, so pretty cool. And it looks decent. They added a lot of the uh, cosmetic look of the on the weapon. They didn't, you know, leave these comes like the stock all black or you know stuff they do sometimes with blueprints. That one looks okay. Uh, 100 cal points, 15 minutes of regular weapon XP or not weapon XP, regular XP. Then lurch forward. Lurch is the new operator, by the way. I believe that's the official name for him. Then we have the conduit. It's going to be for, I don't know. Is this the new weapon? I think. I think this is the ISO. A blueprint for the ISO, and it looks good. This gives me hope for this weapon. 
30 round magazine so it probably is looking at a 20 or a 25 round magazine uh starting out commando foregrip fss revolution looks like an extended barrel as you guys can see there you got the viper reflex not my favorite sight for sure and then the f tac um don't even know what that word is but uh looks like kind of like a skeleton stock so probably give you ads speed and a little bit more uh, mobility not bad cool stuff and it looks good skull squad one hour of weapon xp fraud this is an interesting looking one we have uh engraven it's gonna be for the origin 12 Ooh, cosmetically looks good I like it. it has that mint mint look and a little bit of engraving looks really good actually compensator tack laser gi mini rubberized grip tape and frangible wounding interesting set of attachments not sure if it would be the best set of attachments but it looks good and um you know you could definitely put some other stuff on there if you wanted to put another grip on there though you are going to lose that white grip so i mean it's not terrible it'll work really well in hardcore if that's the place that you reside the most here in modern warfare but not really the best class for Warzone. You have Cut and Run for Iskra. This girl has a ton of different skins in this game. What kind of shoes you got on? Some Nikes? Besides the point. There's her skin for you. Hunter Cow points. We got in good company. There they all are again. I like this Shadow Company vibe. I like it. We have another really interesting watch. Once again, looks like we got the time on the left. Uh, can't really see it too well, but we got some other numbers. Maybe the second hand, and uh, I don't know what the one up in the top right is. Can't tell. But that one's pretty cool. The Clutches of Evil. That looks terrifying. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna scurry on past that. But uh, we got model. This is for the striker. Monolithic Suppressor, Merc Foregrip, Tack Laser, uh, the Combat Hollow Sight, and Sleight of Hand. That's a great class. That's very, very solid. I like this one, man. This one looks really cool. It reminds me of some sort of, like, really barren... It's not, like, war-torn. It's super crazy. Like, you know, kind of like an Afghanistan vibe. But it gives me some sort of desert vibes, and I really like it. It looks good. One hour of double weapon XP. I keep saying that, man. Double XP. My apologies. We have Rose Thorn. 100 cob points. We have Rough Diamonds. This one's cool. I like this one. And then we have the final stuff. We have Rook. Ooh. Okay, it's for Rose. That's terrifying. Some sort of stealth operator outfit. Cool. Then we have an AN94 here. The company's might. Shadowy Tracer Fire. Look at that magazine. Ooh, I'm hyped for this. This one looks dope. Dude, if I'm shooting, if I'm shooting black flaming bullets, I'm I don't even know what to say. Now you got me sold. Give me the tracer pack now. I'm buying it. Compensator. AN94 Factory X438 millimeter barrel. 438 millimeter barrel. TAC laser. VLK optic and commando foregrip. I will see you in the war zone against this thing, man. Dude, this magazine is just sick. Why? Oh, yeah, it's a Canton magazine. Completely forgot there for a second. I'm like, why is the mag sticking out like that? But it is a Canton mag. That looks sick. This Oh, man, it's got the skull there on the side. Oh, I can't wait for this one. Might have to be grinding. We got the, the veil, black helicopter skin, and then we have the Season 5 emblem, which does look pretty darn cool. So, guys, that is going to do it for the Battle Pass. Like I said, man, I apologize for the voice. Just it, It's just I can't be, you know, super high energy at, at 2.30 in the morning. But, um, you know, tripping over my words a little bit. A little bit tired, so if you could do me a huge favor, leave a like on this video helps me helps the channel a ton make sure you subscribe check out the sponsors and equipment description below that's all i got guys thank you so much for watching and i'm out